Hello dear friends, this is Mr. Kalunga and in this lesson we want to look at this question here on the board. This is mathematics. The question is coming from 2023 GCE paper 2 and it was question 1A, section A. Let's look at the question. Simplify 13a to the power 3 divided by 28 a squared b squared divided by 65 a to the power 4 b divided by 56 a squared b to the power 4. That was the question. Let's identify the topic from which the question is coming from. Algebra. Yes. Algebra. And we are told to do what? Simplify. Let's begin. So we have 13 a to the power 3. So you copy it the way it is. Divided by 28 a squared b squared. Then we have this division symbol. What should you do? You change it to multiplication. And immediately you do that. It means this fraction here has been affected. It has to change also. The denominator will become the numerator and the numerator will be the denominator. Immediately when you change. So from division here to multiplication, it means you change this. Don't change this side. Only change on the other side here. So my denominator here, which is 56, will be the numerator a squared b to the power 4 over this which is 65 a to the power 4 b that is the application what next you are now going to start reducing the number of terms simplifying those that can be cancelled please you can do that we start with numbers so here we have numbers and variables or letters so you can start with numbers. Once you are done with numbers, you come with to the letters. So the numbers, what can I cancel here? Well, we have 13 here. This 13 can be cancelled with the, the 65. Because 13 can go into 65. The question is, how many times? So you say 13, 13, 1, 13 into 65, it will give you five times. Okay? You're done with that. We also have 28 and 56. 28 can go into 56. So you can cancel this 28, one here, 28 there, it will be two times. There is no problem, you can even cancel this way, this way, this way, but don't cancel like this. Numerator, numerator, denominator, denominator, no. It's only numerator and denominator. Okay. So we are done with numbers. Let's now go to variables or letters. We start reducing them. I have three A's here. Okay. That is the meaning of A to the power 3. It means A times A times A. Right? I have three of them. How many do I have here? Two. Okay. So down here I've got two of them. So I'll cancel two of them here, I also cancel two there. So these two be cancelled. Here, if I cancel two, I'll remain with it, a one. So you cancel two of them, one A will remain. Okay, I can do the same on the other side. I've got how many A's here? Four of them. Here, how many? Two of them. So I can cancel two here. I see that? I'll cancel two of them there. Then I'll also come and cancel two here. So when I cancel two, how many will remain? Since there are four, they will remain two. So I'll cancel that, and then I'll indicate here to say I've remained with two of them. Okay? You can proceed with the Bs now. The B, I have uh, this one here, B squared, and I've got how many Bs here? Four of them. So these two will be cancelled. I'll go and cancel two of them here. Since there are four, I'll cancel two, I'll remain with two. Okay? 
Now at that stage, of, of course there are a lot that can be cancelled, but if you cancel like this, it's better you go to the next stage so that you see what has remained and also continue with reducing. So what has remained here? On top here, I've remained with the A, okay, over. Down here, what have I remained? Everything has been cancelled. So I've remained with a 1 times. This side, what have I remained with? I've remained with a 2 and B squared here. B squared over. Down here, what have I remained with? A 5 here. A squared. A squared and a B. Are you seeing that? Again, at this point, you can still reduce. You can still cancel. What is that? There is A here and there are two A's here. So I'll cancel this A, I'll remain with a 1. I'll also cancel one A here. Since there are two, I'll remain with one A. Okay? What else? B. B here, I'll cancel this B. Since there are two here, I'll cancel one. I'll remain with one B. I see that. What next? I can now write what has remained. So I've got 1 over 1 times here it will be 2B over 5A over 5A. Are you seeing that? And then my final answer now we just to multiply here it will be 2B over 5A. This will be my final answer. That's the way you should be able to simplify such kind of questions. Thank you for watching. Remember to share the video, subscribe, and like it. Bye-bye.